Hello, hey everyone, I'm Joey Sparks. This is your reminder, God's mercies are new. Once again this morning, Paul asks a question. You remember we talked a couple of days ago about how Paul loves to do that? And he does that for important purposes. He sets up his argumentation very often through the use of questions in this book, this book of Romans. And talking about the Jews and how they had the law, the oracles of God, he would ask this question. What if some were unfaithful? Does their faithlessness nullify the faithfulness of God? What about that question? Does the fact that the Jews rejected and could not keep the law, does that somehow negate God's goodness, the one who gave the law? What's Paul's answer? By no means. Let God be true, though every one were a liar. There's nothing man can do to diminish the character of God. Just because we reject his teachings and his truth, it does not diminish who he is. It's a very important principle that we understand fully. God's character is God's character, whether or not we accept it. So we need to stop judging God by the worst examples of his people. And we need to be sure that our faith is not resting in men. See, what happens is if somehow we set it up that our faithfulness depends on the people around me, whether or not they are keeping it, whether or not I enjoy having them around, and somehow that's going to impact my faithfulness to God, then guess what? My faith is in man, not in God himself. So that means we must stop waiting for the perfect preacher or the perfect elders, the perfect youth minister, the perfect Bible class teachers, the perfect person to sit on the pew with. Our faith must rest in God and his character, not in the character of others. That also means that if our constant criticisms are about our current church or the church that we grew up in or a church across town or our parents who drug us to church or our grandparents who did this or that, we must get out of that loop criticism and start redirecting our focus to God. Seek him, seek his righteousness because he is true and he does not change in that truth, even because of our sin. And then what we're going to find as we keep reading is that God's righteousness is not only intact even though we sin, we actually see God's righteousness and how he responds to our sin. We do thank you for your time this morning. It's our prayer. God's timeless word will be your meditation all day today.